our three kids here are very involved in a lot of different things. He's, he's always said he didn't want the kids just involved in sports, which is easy to do. They each play an instrument. They're all involved in scouting. He always listens to our piano, and he also loves going to like our sporting events and stuff. We do service projects a lot for like Boy Scouts and stuff, and he always wants to be involved with those. We go downhill skiing up north, and then usually once a year we go out of state. When we're watching the movies sometimes, we're sitting down, and we don't think this is a sad part, but my dad does, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I tend to cry at any kind of movie, McDonald's commercials, uh, you name it. If there is, if there's somebody that overcomes great obstacles, and succeeds. For some reason, that really resonates with me. I also break dance, so that um, is something I learned in fourth grade. He has these really bad jokes. All right, so this is this is the story about the jokes. It's always a problem when he preps for uh, presentations that he has to give. My rule is that he has to run the jokes by me because they're never any good. I always say, "Hey, kids." I'm gonna tell a joke this time. And I, I run it by him, and they're like, oh. He just always thinks he was really funny. I'm not a good joke teller. He always puts his children and myself before before anything. And he's, he's very committed to his family, and I just think it shows in all that he does. Believing in them is the most important thing any father can do. Um, there are gonna be times in life where they have their ups and their downs, and there's gonna be times where the world might seem overwhelming to them. So if they can come home and find a place for strength and support, that'll give them a base to you know, learn and believe about themselves. And if they've got that, I think they can take on the world. Bob is really good at taking the time for those teachable moments. I can remember when my oldest son was trying out for football and the team had about half the kids that had never played football before. And I, I was like, oh, you, really? You know, they're gonna get killed? And Connor walked in and Bob, the first thing he says is, well, Connor, this is a real opportunity for you to be a leader. And he talks to him about leadership. One of the things my, my football coach taught me at Hillsdale College was there's, there's controllable factors in your life and uncontrollable factors. And you should really just focus on the ones you can control because the, the uncontrollable factors have a, a way of dealing with themselves. So you take that controllable factor, you look at your circle of influence and where you can influence, and that should be your focus. Just work hard and have fun and, and go with it. My children do not know anyone with diabetes, and uh, Bob is, like we said, really into the teachable moments, and we felt that it was really important that we use this opportunity for, through this award for our kids to learn something. And we felt that by having them interview a couple of children who have diabetes that we've gained something in this as well, and my children have gained something, not just honoring their father, but learning about diabetes. I got it when I was two and I'm 10, so I've had it for eight years. Why do you go down to the office during school? Sometimes, um, I, um, I, like there's too much sugar in my blood or there's not enough, and when you're low, there's not enough sugar in your blood, and when you're high, there's too much sugar in your blood. In our class, our motto is work hard, get smart, no excuses. And I think my dad follows that a lot. He never makes excuses. If he gets assigned something, he'll always finish it, and he always works hard. I think being a dad is fun. You know, we do all kinds of crazy things, and we talk about working hard, but there's the having fun part, too. What do I think is to be a father of the year? I, I guess I look at it as an opportunity to raise awareness for the American Diabetes Association and all the good work they're doing. I reflect back on this experience as father of the year and one word comes to mind and 
And that's gratitude. And the whole staff at the ADA uh, has just been a treat to work with. And uh, this experience has been an absolute joy.